I welcome you to my YouTube channel and this is Ricky Chisambo and in this lesson we want to look at cathode ray oscilloscope in physics and it is very important that you pause the video so that you can copy the questions. So cathode ray oscilloscope is an oscilloscope that uses a CR, uh, CRT which is cathode ray tube to display the wave so we have the diagram here so this is the cathode ray oscilloscope and it comprises of different components so we have the cathode the anode the electrons uh, screen xy plates and then we have the heater so the first question is explain how the heater is made to produce electrons as shown so this heater how is it uh, make uh how 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 electrons are produced in this uh, uh uh heater that is what the question is required us to explain and to answer so now this heater once it has been heated up you'll find that electrons will escape electrons will leave this heater and then they will move in this uh direction going this direction so now let us answer the question that we've been asked to answer. So we are saying that when when a small current When a small current is passed is passed through the heater it gets it gets hot and electrons are emitted are emitted from the surface of of the heater okay so we move to the next question so the next question is what charge do electrons carry? So when they are released, they always carry uh, negative uh, electrons or they are negatively charged. So the answer is they are negative. They are negative. Okay, so let us move to the next question. The next question. Explain how the electrons are emitted from the cathode. So explain how electrons electrons are emitted from the cathode. So let us create some space here. Okay. okay so question uh, a2 so we are saying that the heater the heater is heated and the electrons gain enough energy so which can be kinetic energy so when when the electrons gain enough 
enough energy they escape they escape from the surface the surface of the cathode so they will escape from the surface of the cathode let us move to the next uh, question explain why the electrons move towards the cathode so we want to explain why electrons they move to or towards the, the cathode okay, so we are saying they are attracted attracted to to the anode to the anode since since they are they are negatively negatively charged negatively charged so we are saying that once this heater is heated then electrons will, will be released so once they are released this is the cathode so meaning that the cathode here will release electrons that will move that will be attracted by the anode so this is the the positive and then this is what the negative so you find that the negative will be attracted to the positive so that is the reason why the anode will attract the negatively charged electrons let us move to the next one so give three properties of electrons so three properties of electrons so we create some space so three properties of electrons so property number one property number one we are saying that they are negatively negatively charged they are negatively charged number two they can be they can be rubbed they can be rubbed off certain certain substance certain substances using using specific using specific material number three number three they can flow they can flow through through a conductor through a conductor if the potential the potential difference if the potential difference is applied is applied between between two ends so these are the properties of uh, the electrons so we move to the next question the question we move to the next question so name the process by which electrons are produced in the cathode ray oscilloscope 
So we have B1. So they are produced. They are produced by the process known as thermionic. Thermionic emission. Okay, so let us move to the next one. Why is the potential between the cathode and the uh, anode made very high? So the potential, why it is very high? So the potential difference, or we can say this, they help, they help in the acceleration 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 of of electrons we we'll move to the next one which is C explain the uses of Y plates so the first one is Y plates Y plates, the uses of Y plates, so the uses of these Y plates, the uses of these Y plates. So we are saying that Y plates are used to, to deflect, so are used to deflect the beam, the beam vertically. So this beam, this beam, so these electrons, so this beam, so once it bounces uh, to the Y plates, so it will be helped in order to move vertically. And then let us look at the X plates, the X plates, so to deflect to deflect the beam the beam horizontally so these are x plates them it is so x plates it is horizontal and then the y plates it is vertical Okay, we move to the next question. So the next question is, explain why vacuum is needed in the cathode ray oscilloscope. So explain why the vacuum is needed in the cathode ray oscilloscope. Before we proceed, it is very important that we understand what a vacuum is. So a vacuum, we can say a vacuum is a space is a space devoid devoid of matter or we can say it is a space a space which which there there is no matter example air and then we can say solid or solid or we can say even liquid so you will never find these three states of matter that we've uh, listed here in a vacuum so now, why is it that it is very important a vacuum, uh, for a vacuum in the cathode ray oscilloscope? So we are saying that. So it is very important to prevent to prevent the ionization. of 
the air the air molecule the air molecules due to due to the collision then the other one the other one this is d1 the other one so we can say to prevent so to prevent the burning So to prevent the burning up, up of the hot, the hot filament. Filament. In this case, we have the heater. In this case, we have the heater. So the last question that we want to look at is describe the uses the useful describe the useful energy changes which take place on the screen so the changes which takes place on the on the screen so we can say this is d3 so we can say the kinetic energy kinetic energy of the first of the first moving electrons is converted is converted to light is converted to light and heat energy causing a bright spot a bright spot on the screen so what we are saying that these electrons they will be moving very fast so as they are moving they will have kinetic energy so they will have kinetic energy so this kinetic energy it will be converted into light and heat energy causing a bright spot on the screen so there will be a bright spot on this screen so this is cathode ray oscilloscope for any uh, of uh, such videos you can subscribe to my youtube channel